how does a scientist think? Scientists really use a couple of very key uh, tools to drive their, their discovery. One is they make observations. Always look around your environment to see what's going on. And then develop questions as to why something happens. For example, if you have a flashlight that doesn't work, your first observation is, I need to provide more light in an area. A scientist would say, what can I use to provide more light in the area where I can't see? A solution would be a flashlight. That's one viable solution. The other solution could be a candle, okay? Well, you get a flashlight and you, you're all ready to illuminate the area that you're trying to see and you turn on the flashlight, but the flashlight does not work. So the question would be, why does my flashlight not work? Well, there are a couple of answers. Either the bulb may be faulty or the batteries may not be working anymore. Well, a scientist would then test which one of those cases is the possibility. So I would start by replacing the batteries. If you still, oh, wait a minute, you have to replace the batteries the correct way. So you have to make sure that the orientation of the batteries is correct for making the light work. If it's still not working, then you could say, wow, maybe the bulb is faulty. And then you would change the bulb. So what scientists do is they make observations and they ask questions. And then they use a series of very simple tests to answer their question in order basically to figure out whether or not the, the answer that they think is the truth is actually the truth. And so in your everyday world, if you can make observations, and then ask very simple questions to explain those observations and then figure out ways to test uh, your explanations, that is thinking just like a scientist.